Hey everybody, I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country right here on Fish Creek Radio. Singer-songwriter Shelby Lee Lowe has the potential to establish what country music has been missing for the past decade, modern country with a traditional backbone. He gives 100% of his craft and commitment to his career, and he's established himself as an authentic country music entertainer, and he's been compared to country artists that we love, such as Merle Haggard, Waylon Jennings, and Dwight Yoakam. And he's a native of Tennessee, and it's a pleasure to have him on the show today. He's got a brand new album out. We're going to talk about that. Please welcome Shelby Lee Lowe to My Kind of Country. Shelby, how are you? I'm doing great, Scott. Thank you so much for having me. It's my honor. I appreciate you taking time to be on the show. I love your new album, and it's always great to promote uh, a young artist that's uh, carrying on the good old country music. Yes, sir. Any promotion I can get, I'll take it. That's for sure. <laughs> well, give me a little bit of your background. You're, uh, you've got a, uh, a, a degree in the music business. I know that. And uh, give me a little bit of uh, your history. Yes, sir. Well, I, uh, I grew up like most uh, kids in Tennessee, most boys in Tennessee. You grew up playing football and hearing country music. Uh, my family... I had some some really big country music fans in my family. I, I learned to play guitar from my great uncle, who taught me some Johnny Cash early on. And uh, I grew up hearing Merle Haggard and Buck Owens songs being sang by my dad. Just just uh, over time, I learned to to really love and appreciate traditional country music. And uh, I sang in public for the first time on a dare at a high school talent show my senior year in high school. <laughs> and I sang Pay Me in Birmingham by Tracy Lawrence, and everybody went crazy. Wow. And I, uh, I continued to sing after that. Uh, I went to college for communications for a couple years, not really knowing what I wanted to do in it, because I was a, uh, a football fan, a sports fan. I thought, well, maybe be a sports anchor or do something with news broadcast. And I got to research in Middle Tennessee State in Murfreesboro and their recording industry program. Like, well, you know what? People people are telling me that I have what it takes to make it as a singer, and I, that would be pretty cool to do if I could do it. Maybe I should just go all in and learn about it and try. So that's what I did. I got my music business degree. I met a lot of songwriters, and from there I really started uh, writing songs and, and playing shows and the rest is history. I've been I've been playing music full time for a couple of years now and writing a lot and touring as much as possible and making a lot of good fans. It's been a, it's been a great journey. Well, that's fantastic. Well, uh, one of your fans uh, is, a, is a loyal listener to my show, and she contacted me, and she said, uh, you got to get a hold of this guy. He's fantastic. We saw him in concert, and uh, we'd love to hear him on the show. So uh, I want to thank uh, thank her for getting uh, getting us in touch, and it's uh, it's really cool when my listeners do that. It's, it uh, turns me on to some new music, and I love that. I sure am glad she did. That's awesome. <laughs> well, you've got a, a self-titled album out on Banner Music Records. It came out uh, just just a little bit here ago in August. And uh, you wrote uh, 11 of the 13 songs on this album, right? Yes, sir. That's fantastic. Well, tell me about uh, tell me about a few of your favorites on here and uh, some of the inspiration for them. Well, um, one of my one of my favorite songs on the record is a song called History that I co-wrote with my good friend, and he's also a assigned writer to Banner Music, named Alex Dooley. And I got the idea for the song. I was going through an old uh, old chest of old pictures that my family's kept, and there's a lot of old pictures of my grandparents from probably the late 70s, early 80s, and they are at a honky-tonk bar called Big Jim's Country, that uh, that I ended up that's what ended up being the first place I ever played a full band show. Oh, cool! That's the place that they used to socialize and hang out and dance and have fun. And I thought it was just I thought it was pretty cool that you know, a place that my grandparents used to party at back in the day. That that was a a big place in my life, starting out my music career. And it all kind of came back around full full circle. So. We wrote a song called History, and it's basically about uh, my upbringing and where I come from and my family, and uh, it's 
a personal song to me. That's why it's one of my favorites. And I think the uh, musicians on this track did a really, really good job of capturing the feeling of it. Yeah, you've got some great players on here. Uh, who are the pickers on this album with you? Well, um, I know Tommy Harden played drums on it. I know... Um, Oh, man, I can't remember everybody. I know, um, well, I don't even want to say it because I, I think I know their names, but I'll mess it up. <laughs> you know, it's, it's on the back of my album, and they're all fantastic musicians. I know Joe Spivey played fiddle. Oh, wow. And um, I want to say Rusty Sanders played steel guitar. But Mr. Sanders, if I messed up your name, I apologize in advance. You did it. And they all did an awesome job on the record, and they're, uh, they're worth remembering, that's for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. They did a great job. Uh, tell me about. I love the. I love the title of this one. Tell me about Drink a Billy. Drink a Billy. Well, that's another song I co-wrote with uh, Alex Dooley from Banner Music, and also from Banner Music co-owner, and he's my producer on this album, Daniel Clinton. And we just wanted to write a up-tempo. At the time, I had a lot of good slow ballad type songs and you know, I need something that I can go out in front of a, a group of people wanting to drink a little bit and have fun and um, somehow Alex Dooley threw out Drinkabilly which is a uh, it's a twist on the, the term rockabilly kind of country rock thing and you know we're just a Drinkabilly band and my early career I played a lot of bars and honky tonks and I've uh I've played some of the nicest joints in Nashville and some of the biggest hole-in-the-wall places <laughs> in North Dakota, all over the place. So, you know, playing for tips and doing requests, uh, I've lived that life, and I've, uh, I can, I can relate to this song "Drink a Billy" because I've heard it, and it's a, it's a fun party dance song. Well, I think it's a cool title. I think it'll catch on. That's that's. Uh, I had never heard that before. I thought that was a pretty cool title. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, the the uh, video that I watched too, uh, "Double Wide Love." That's a great song. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I actually uh, guess what I wrote that one with Alex Dooley as well, and uh, Shane Thompson at Banner Music, and um, that was just a fun co-writing. Just. Uh, you know, growing up around a lot of rednecks, I had a lot of inspiration for that song. So, uh, you know, it was lighthearted, fun, um, just kind of embracing, you know, some aspects of the South, the redneck side of it, and uh, just throwing it out there, double wide love. Well, you know, it's 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 it gets harder. You know, there's so many songs that have been written over the years. It's got to get harder to you know create something on you know with a you know the same type of theme but with a different spin on it. And I think a lot of the songs that you've done here, you've you've done that very well. And uh, they're like you said, you know, they're fun songs. You got some great slow songs on here, and it's uh, it's a very enjoyable album for anybody that just wants to party or if they just want to kick back and listen to some good music. You know, it's uh, it's very enjoyable music. I really like what you're doing. I appreciate that, Scott. Thank you. Um, tell me about uh, Plan B E E R. Plan B E E R. Well, uh, it's funny you ask. That's I think out of the thirteen tracks on there, I think I co-wrote maybe seven or eight songs with Alex Dooley. I uh, he's just a he's a good friend of mine, and he's a he's a fantastic songwriter. He has he's had cut by. Uh, Craig Campbell and uh, Easton Corbin, and he's just a fantastic songwriter, and I think that me and him write well together, and that's why he has so many songs on my album, but we co-wrote this song with a guy by the name of Arlo Smith, who wrote Mayberry by Rascal Flatts all by himself, Damn. he's a fantastic songwriter, and he's a, he's a fun guy to be around, he's, 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 he's a wild guy, fun, energetic, and Alex just, uh, he just, sometimes he spits out brilliant, and it takes you a minute to catch on, but he said, plan B, E-E-R, and the, the rest is history. I, it was just all one big blur. We just uh, came up on, on that song, and just another, another another song about drinking beer, country song, so, you know. <laughs> 
Well, that's that's uh, that's a staple in country music. You know, my show would right. be a lot shorter if I didn't have uh, drinking songs. I remember George, <laughs> George Jones said one time, he goes, uh, he says, man, if I didn't have songs about drinking and cheating, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> right. Yep. That's country for you. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, your your songwriting. I know you mentioned you know Buck Owens and Merle, and, and as far as you know influences, tell me if some of your songwriter influences. Well, um, I'm a big fan of uh, of the old traditional country music that told stories and you know really made you made you feel something. And there, there's a, there's a ton of of the old traditional songwriters that have kind of, sort of a ton of names. I'm a, I'm a big um, Bobby Braddock fan. I love, you know, he stopped loving her today and a lot of other uh, songs he's written. And um, I've read his book about Music Row, and I'm a I'm a fan of. Um, I mean, Dolly Parton is is an artist who writes some, some great material, and I respect her a lot. Um, nowadays. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, artists like Eric Church and Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton's one of my favorite artists and songwriters out there to date. And uh, I love a lot of what they have to say. You know, they make they make stuff. Um, you, I feel you make, it makes me feel what they're they're trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I respect that a lot. There's there's some newer uh, contemporary country songwriters that are really good with the clever lyrics and uh, faster lyrics and some of the different different styles out there that kind of lean in more towards the pop side of things and I respect that and I, I do uh, I actually enjoy writing some of that stuff myself but um, man I'll take a good old three quarter time three chords and the truth kind of song yeah, absolutely. day of the week I love it absolutely well that's you know that's that's the proven staying power. You know those those kind of songs and uh, you know the way that they were written and who they were written by and artists. You know that write and record their own music. You know that's uh, that's what gives longevity in the music business, as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah. And uh, folks, this album is available at shelbyleelow.com, and we will put that information on our Facebook page too. And I would imagine you have this available at uh, uh, Amazon, iTunes, and all those type of places too, right? Yes, sir. iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, and uh, Spotify as well. And uh, I hope you guys will check it out and enjoy it. Well, we will certainly be playing them on our show, and uh, you got 14 great songs on here, and. Uh, um, we're going to be playing some, and folks, I highly encourage you to visit uh, Shelby's website and uh, check out his story and check out some of the songs and videos on there and his tour dates and go go see him if you get a chance. And uh, it's uh, it's great to uh, to hear a new artist that's really doing some fantastic music, and I really applaud you for that. Thank you so much, sir. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna play one of your songs right now, and I'm gonna let you pick the one we're gonna play. How's that? Well, sounds good. Well, since I, I told you about my song, um, well, let's see here. Do you want to hear a a ballad? Do you want to hear a uh, an up tempo faster song? Hey, you're the DJ, man. It's up to you. Oh man, all <laughs> pressure on me. Okay, well. Uh, I know I know you play a lot of real good traditional country music on, on your show. Uh, I have a song that I wrote with Daniel Kleindent, uh, Jerry Sally, and uh, Alex Dooley that's on, on the record. And um, it's called Honky Tonk Grace, and it's kind of about, you know, uh, traditional country and people that enjoy it and go out and listen to it. So I think that'll be a fun one for you to play. Perfect. We're going to play it right now, Honky Tonk Race. This is Shelby Lee Lowe from his brand new self-titled album on Banner Music Records. And again, shelbyleelowe.com. I hope you'll go check out his website and go see this guy in concert. And Shelby, it's been a pleasure having you on the show, and we'd love to have you back anytime, and we're going to be playing your music. Yes, sir. Thank you all so much. All right. Shelby Lee Lowe and My Kind of Country as we continue. Right here on Fish Creek Radio. <laughs> 